What in the 50 satin is this? <sighs> Definitely not giving what it was supposed to have gave. Hi Sheeksters, hi YouTube, hope your day is going well. Like the title says, today's video is going to be a boohoo, little sprinkling of misguided. Try out haul. <laughs> I'm super excited to get into this haul. If you love shopping at Boohoo and Misguided, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more haul videos like this. If you're new here, my name is Chi Chi and I cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that's the kind of stuff you're into, then <laughs> sis, you are in the right place. Okay, come, come on, come on. Let's get into this video. Make sure to stay tuned to the end so you do not miss any of the good stuff because I feel like I found some good stuff, but I also found some um, stuff that might be a little questionable. Definitely not giving what it's supposed to have gave, but let's unpack it together. So the first item that caught my eye is going to be this shirt. Okay, I have been loving my mustards, if you cannot tell, and my oranges this season, and this top is no exception. I love that it's a V-neck. I love that it has some smocking going. I love it has like a puffy sleeve, and I also love that it is so lightweight. Like, this is screaming vacation. Just pair this with a pair of cutoffs, and you are ready to go or you could pair it with a pair of shorts like this okay that I found look at that look at that look at that okay so you could definitely create some really cute looks cut off for like daytime or some nice like flowy pants for like dinner so many options in this one I got everything in a size 18 yep or a size 20. Now, I have not shopped at Boohoo for a while. And just by looking at some of these pieces, I feel like they changed up their sizing and nobody told me. Cause it looks a little bit more generous than it used to look. So we shall see. I have not tried these items on. So if you are looking to the left or to the right of me, you're gonna see me styling these pieces on the side. Okay, and of course, if I have any additional notes, I will tell you about it in the try on portion. All right, so the next item I picked up, you guys have already seen a preview of are these flippy shorts. I got this in a size 20. I would say that that's pretty true to size. I tend to size up in my shorts. This is like elasticated waistband. I love that the waistband is thick and it's just a cute little short. Like I literally bought this to wear, it would be perfect to wear on vacation, but also to wear around the house as well. It's basically a jersey fabric. It almost feels kind of like pajama pants if I'm being honest. Quality wise, I'd give it a eight out of a 10. I don't see any stitching. Um, the only reason why I'm giving it an eight instead of a 10 is because of the quality of the knit itself it's quite it's kind of see-through so if I'm wearing this I'm definitely wearing dark underwear with this that's the only issue I would have and I would just wonder how this would um, react in the dryer so that would be the only thing but aside from that um, it's a cute pair of shorts and if you're looking for a cute little outfit for vacation well sis I've got you right here this is perfect for like you know, perusing the ruins, shopping in the town, etc., etc. All those like touristy things that we like to do, going to brunch or lunch, etc., etc. On vacation, these are the perfect shorts. Okay, that's what to I'm wear saying. Going to like a buffet, mm -hmm. which is it just it feels yep. like pajama shorts. Honestly, okay. they're super lightweight and soft. Um, especially for the type of material they're made out of. Just perfect for vacation. You can just throw on a white bikini and just throw these shorts on as like your cover up and you know, carry your straw bag. Or you can dress it up with like a cute top like this and you are good to go. Yup. So the next item I have for you guys, I actually bought in two colors so the first color is going to be the black one of course and it's just like a crop top it has this wrap detail in front and then of course what sold me on it was the puffy sleeve i have a very similar top to this that i picked up a couple of years ago from um i think forever 21 but it itches like crazy 
so I never actually wear it. And so when I saw this one, I was like, okay, maybe this one will make up. So some details, it has puff sleeves, like so it elasticates around the shoulder. It also has elastication in the sleeve. And I like the fabric. It's kind of like a textured, lightweight, cotton type fabric. And the front does have this crisscross detail, but it's also lined on the inside, so you don't have to worry about showing your goodies. However, the back is not lined, which is great, so you can get some ventilation in the summer. So like I told you, I got it in two colors because these are just like those basic tops that you can get and pair it with like jeans and a pair of heels for like a summer date night. You can also pair it with like shorts as well for like a cookout. You know, it's just one of those tops that can dress up and dress down really easily. And of course, in some basic colors that you can use and mix and match in your wardrobe super easily. So elephant in the room, I know I sound kind of late nasally. My apologies, I am getting over whatever this is. And so if my energy is not through the roof and I sound nasally, I appreciate you sticking around and still watching this video. You know, giving us a thumbs up, okay? Thank you. Now I did not plan this, but I would totally see this next pair of shorts paired with that black top as well. For a cute little outfit that you can wear on vacation, but also on the weekends, like to run errands, to go to a barbecue, et cetera, et cetera, to go to a kickback. And then if you wanted to dress it up, you could pair it with this mustard blazer that I have on like so, okay, and tank. And then you can have a little bit more of a dressy look, throw on some black mules, and sis, you have an outfit, okay? I am a sucker for these um, paper bag waist shorts. We had a whole conversation about this in my Target haul. If you have not seen that, you can check that out. Um, and I got this one in a size 20, I'm sure. In a size 20, and I think I would still stick with that same size as well. This is very, very lightweight, so it's perfect for um, vacation, it has an elasticated waist, so it's basically like a pull-on style with this wrap. Now, these shorts will not pass the shimmy test. We talked about that in the Target haul, but they're great for vacation, great for looking cute when you go downstairs to eat lunch or dinner or breakfast, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. And if that doesn't really bother you, then definitely check these out. Also, I find that shorts like this, the shimmy test, like it doesn't tend to ride up as much as a pair of denim, just because it's lightweight and it's easy and the fabric on its own sort of like falls back into place, if that makes any sense. And I'd give the quality of this one an eight out of a 10 as well. Yeah, I don't see any stitching, any loose stitching. The fabric quality is the only issue. And again, it's not horrible in by any means. It's just not like a 10 quality, if that makes any sense. And then continuing on with more vacation sets because apparently, that's where my mind was when I placed this order. <laughs> These two actually came together and it's a crop top and a pair of flippy shorts as well. I think we can name this haul the flippy short haul, okay? So this one is more of a beach set. You're supposed to wear this with your bikini. So if you have like a black bikini, I even have like a white two piece that I could wear with this, then this is your go-to. It's basically sheer, so you cannot get away with this anywhere else because it is sheer. I do like that it has this little flippy detail on the bottom. Very lightweight. I like the ruffling around the waist. It'll probably be big for me just because I know I got a size 20 in this around the waist, but super cute. And then it comes with this top. Okay, so I would probably never wear the shorts outside of the pool or the beach, but I feel like you can definitely get away with wearing this top with other things. You can pair this with like a bodycon skirt, pair this with some black palazzo pants, you can pair this with some cutoffs, you know, a midi skirt, etc., etc. While you're on vacation, I do see one thread hanging out somewhere but like the price of this set together is kind of incredible. I think it was like under $15 for a top and a bottom. You cannot beat that. So I'm gonna give it a pass with the thread because of that and I will give this a seven out of a 10 as well. It also does have smocking in the back. You guys can see that, which means if you have like a larger back, 
you have some clearance with this top. I like all the tops in this. It has a full sleeve, okay, and it has like elastication around the cuff as well. So this next item, you know, I knew I was trying it with this next item. Like I knew that just from the photo that it was going to be questionable, but I was like, okay, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. And I grabbed it. And it is this satin dress. Like it's just not giving what it's supposed to have gave. I'm seeing threads in places and the price of this dress was not even that cheap, neither. So it's supposed to be like a crisscross or like surplus style dress it has a collar then it has like extra you know cuff sleeves actions and then it's elasticated around the waist and then around the hip area right let me know your thoughts on this one because i'm just are you guys seeing what i'm seeing or are you not seeing what i'm seeing because I don't know if you can see, there's like missing thread here and it's just giving me like 99 cent. Okay, it's like giving me Joanne's clearance bin, okay? If you ever <laughs> did any sewing, you know about the clearance section. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this one. I would love to know your thoughts on this one in the comments below. Of course, I'm gonna style it for you guys. If you're looking for like a cheap and cheerful dress, one time type situation, then I like the cut. Like I love the idea behind it. The surplus hem, the ruching, very flattering for my girls. But just the execution, the quality of the fabric is just not there, okay? The next item, finally a top that does not have a puffy sleeve. It's going to be this crop top. Now, I probably will not wear this top until the fall, just because it's like a thicker fabric almost, but what drew me to it is this graphic print, okay? It also has that like lettuce hem that I think is super cute. The fabric is a little stiff. I'm hoping that when I wash it, it'll soften up a bit. Again, I don't know, something about this print, it's definitely giving me some type of designer I think it's Proenza and I'm probably saying it wrong um that's giving me from a couple of years ago but I really liked it I know I compared this with like my high-waisted leather pants come fall time I know I can pair it with a wrap or midi skirt so definitely has a lot of potential this piece and so that is why I could not leave it I was gonna say the stitching around is a little bit wobbly but that was the back and that was where the um tag was so I'm not that mad anymore <laughs> anyways this I got in a size 18 and it looks pretty true to size so the next item I picked up is going to be this gorgeous mesh dress. Now, I don't know why I didn't pay attention to the fact that this does not have a slip. It is a midi dress. I do have like a white dress that could go underneath it, so I'm not mad. This would be great to wear, take with you on vacation because you can wear it with your bikini, but you can also put a slip under it and wear it as a dress for dinner. I got this in a size 20 and i'm actually not sure i feel like i maybe could have sized down on this one but we'll see in the try on section what y'all think about it i was really just drawn to this like tie-dye situation happening here with you know like almost like a coffee milk sort of situation i love that about it quality i'd give it a nine out of ten i have okay maybe an eight maybe an eight i just spotted like a little thing but I give it an eight out of 10. It's very soft. Also does have a lot of gift to it as well. Yeah, only good things, only good things. All right, and if you're gonna do tie dye and you want it to look a little bit more chic and elevated, that's how I would do it. Sticking with the neutral and keeping the tie dye a lot more subtle. All right, so let's get into the misguided goodies. Okay, so I actually placed two orders at misguided. The first one was all just pajamas because I just needed to re-up and add some pajamas to my wardrobe. And I would say misguided is one of the most affordable 
affordable and just great quality places to find plus size pajamas. I have this robe and pajama set that I wear all the time when I'm filming content for Instagram and I always get like some from time to time someone will always ask me where it's from etc etc and so I've always relied on the quality of their loungewear. I think it's really great. This pajama is no different. The other one I have is satin but all of the ones I picked up this time were all sort of like a jersey fabric which kind of works better because it's a lot more comfortable it has a lot more give and the color of this papaya color really just stood out to me I love the polka dots I love that it has this white trim again just really affordable and for such great quality so if you are looking for pajamas I will link some of my favorite ones for you guys I picked up four pajamas because I don't play I, when I find something good I stock up okay the next item I picked up from the haul is gonna be this green it's kind of like a muted neon green shirt dress it has this cool little detail where the arms are like wide and then of course it has a lapel no pockets at all Oh, actually one pocket it has one pocket like so and I like the weight of this fabric it's also giving me kind of like a linen cotton blend situation as well very lightweight perfect for summer I would wear this as a cover-up I would also just wear this to run errands on the weekends as well love how bright and fun the color is if the oversizedness is not your vibe you can totally put a belt around it if you would like but I've just been really into oversized shirts with cute little like bandeau tops and crop tops. I love that vibe. But also again, perfect for poolside with a white bikini. That would be really cute. Also, I have like a green one piece swimsuit that I think would be super cute with this as well. And this color, you can pair this color with white, with denim, um, with navy all the green colors, tan. So don't be afraid of this color because you can actually pair it with quite a few things. You can even pair it with orange. I saw Tanika, I think that's her name. She paired all of her like bright, her greens and her oranges and she did like sort of like um, pastels together and it looked really cute. So you could definitely pair that also with like a pastel orange as well. And the next item, it seems like I was having a thing for mesh because I also picked up another mesh. And this is also one of those pieces I feel like I'm gonna grab more towards the fall and winter. I have a similar shirt that I got from Pretty Little Thing. And when I saw this on the site, I was like, okay, I could do this, I could do this. I like the fact that it has this ruching detail going across for my girls with like smaller busts looking for details I like this so I definitely think this is something I'm gonna be reaching for um, more of during the fall and winter and I'm gonna give this item a 5 out of a 10 because I just saw that it has a little rip in it so I think I'm actually good I might actually end up returning this one I hope I have not passed the return window because that's a no for me aside from that I really was drawn to the tie-dye situation that was happening it's a bodysuit so you can pair it with leather trousers denim you know just um, midi skirts slip skirts etc etc perfect for date night or a night out with the girls um, and so I thought this had a lot of potential and I think I got this in a 16 just because I wanted to be fitted um, it is a bodysuit if I did not mention however because because of that little rip situation happening here I'm probably going to send it back so I'm pretty sure I forgot to include something in this haul but I oh oh yes yes I knew there was something I forgot all right so I did pick up two sets of accessories from boohoo and they they're both going back but I thought I would share them with you guys I don't know what I was thinking but I saw this bag, yes, I'm sure you were like, Chi-Chi, what? And actually, <laughs> I saw this bag, I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, I don't know, it was giving me like Prada vibes, and I was like, okay, maybe, let me see. Yeah, no. If I was 15, maybe, I would go for something like this. Or if your style is very bright, and I would say I'm somebody who embraces color, but this is more of like a neon, and I was not looking for a neon orange. So, 
Then continuing on with the orange situation, I also saw this bag. Now, if you have a two-year-old niece or daughter, I totally recommend this bag. I know that these bags are supposed to be small, and but this is like too small. And I have some small bags. Like I have a small bag from Zara that I love, but there's just something about this bag that's just, it's just a little bit too small. Like, look at that. I would look, <laughs> I would look like I'm carrying my doll's bag, okay? This is, no. I mean, quality, I give it a six and a half out of 10 because I don't know if you guys can see, but you can see some of like that, that white fluff coming out on the side and I haven't even carried the bag yet. So it's a hard pass, hard, hard, hard pass. Now, if you love really, really tiny bags, you may like that bag, and if so, I will link it for you down below. But if not, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no, okay? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. YouTube you can always find me on Instagram I share daily fashion or daily ish fashion and style inspiration speaking of that also make sure to join me on the like to know it app if you don't know what it is it's an app where I share all of my new in items my latest all of my favorites my picks basically anything that I feature I curate all of it together on that app so that you can shop at your leisure Okay, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and you want more try on hauls and styling videos just like this one, all you have to do is subscribe now. What to do next? Check out this video right here and I'm sure you will love this video right here. So let me know in the comments down below, is that miniature bag a yay or a nay? Like how are you feeling about the miniature bag trend? Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.